Chad. It's Maximus here. Short video about uh, Lowe's Cobalt Pry Bars. These actually come in a $20 set. The four Pry Bars, a couple shorter ones, the 16 inch and the 18 inch. The 16 and the 18 have the same 3 8 diameter steel stock. They're Chinese made. I suppose the handle is okay, being kind of uh, dual molded. molded. Looks like it's a uh, nylon handle, rubberized over mold, and then they have a, an extra injection for the logo. I do like that they have a hole in them. I actually found this at a the garage sale. I think the pry bar is okay for considering it's only 20 bucks for a four piece set, but these certainly aren't as good as say uh, some good American pry bars. And when it comes to pry bars, they're actually pretty cheap. So I would recommend getting a good quality they do have a pretty steep angle here. It looks like it's about 25 degrees. These are some old Craftsman USA here. And we can see how much steeper the angle is. It's quite a bit. It does have a pretty wide foot. I don't know how much I like that. There's been actually a lot of times where I'm really having a little bit more narrow of a foot like on this Craftsman. It's actually been just fine. I can understand the reason for putting in a wider foot, but sometimes it makes it just a little bit more awkward. Besides that, of course, the black on this old Craftsman USA is a general industri uh, industrial finish, carbon finish, where this seems like it's just a painted finish. Another nuance, I was doing some looking, some people had complained actually not, I mean, you, if you put too much force on a 3 8 shank or bar like this, it's gonna bend. But really, it was the fact that it would want to bend right here, right where the initial offset is. And I can kind of understand why. They use a real sharp uh, break, and the bend is actually pretty darn tight. Even though this bend is shallower, so it kind of makes it look wider, it actually is wider. There's just a longer radius where they did the bend here, where it's really sharp on the cobalt. What that does is it actually causes additional stretching in the material and actually can weaken it just a little bit more than if they had just made the bend just a little bit longer over it. They could have still had it at 25 degrees, just not pinched it in the break if they actually like rolled it or used a round bar and in order to make this arc just a bit longer so that no specific point of the metal was getting stretched. And that was actually kind of surprising because it's pretty rare for a pry bar to actually uh, have a suffer a failure or bend right at the offset usually it's in the middle of the bar so i did want to mention that not much else to say about this pry bar i'm not much of a fan of lows but uh, if you just want some chunker pry bars and you have that happens to be the closest uh store to tell you the truth uh, i suppose these are probably about the same as a harbor freight and you can probably get the pittsburgh's just a little bit cheaper and it was hard for me to show on camera, but I actually set this up and stood on it. And I could tell, even though both of these are 3 8 steel, that when I, I just put it between a couple pieces of wood and stood on it, and I could feel it felt more bouncy, a little bit more flex in that one than I did in this Craftsman, even though the Craftsman's actually an inch longer. So I don't think the steel is that great. So really, that's my opinion. Uh, for 20 bucks for a four piece set, I suppose, you know, you're, you know, they're adequate for their price. But I would recommend a better pry bar if you can afford it. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.